In this video, let us take a quick look at uh, ISACA's AAIA certification, which stands for Advanced in Artificial Intelligence Audit. The AI audit certification was uh, officially launched to the public on the 19th of May of 2025. Currently, this certification is available to those candidates who hold an active uh, CISA certification from ISACA or uh, SCIA, that is uh, Certified Internal Auditor Certification from the Institute of Internal Auditors or uh, SCPA, that is uh, Certified Public Accountant Certification from AICPA. So the first step is uh, one of these certifications and uh, the second step is uh, clearing the AI audit exam. Once you complete the exam, you will uh, get to see your uh, preliminary scores immediately. So candidates get to know if they have passed the exam or not immediately after the exam. The official scores will be sent by email within around 10 working days. After the official scores are received, you can apply for the certification. And once the application is approved, you can use the designation in your LinkedIn profile and on your resume. Now, why did ISACA launch this certification and why is it relevant today? If you check uh, Google search trends for the term artificial intelligence or AI from uh, 2004 till date, you will see that uh, very few people were searching for uh, these terms till around uh, November of 2022. From November 2022, the number of searches which uh, corresponds to the level of interest shoots up dramatically. So what happened in November 22? Well, ChatGPT was uh, released to the general public. So this is the point in time when uh, the so-called democratization of AI actually happened. From uh, this point onwards, the utilization of uh, AI-based systems just exploded. In uh, November 2024, apparently 25% of the code at Google was being written by AI. And uh, recently the CEO of Microsoft said that uh, around 30% of the new code in Microsoft is being written by AI. And uh, a survey says that 86% uh, of the students in the US already use AI in their studies. And uh, even in other fields like uh, healthcare, traffic management, banking and financial services, AI is being implemented almost everywhere. In fact, a uh, lot of people are unknowingly interacting with AI almost every day. If you just uh, look at the customer support or uh, the help section in uh, many popular apps, the first level of support is being completely handled by AI bots or chatbots. If a process can be standardized, then uh, it most probably can be done by an AI system. If you go to huggingface.com, as of the 19th of May of 2025, there are more than 1.7 million models which you can download or deploy. And some of these smaller LLM models can even be run locally on a high-end desktop or a laptop. But even the smallest AI systems are incredibly complex. And because they are constantly learning and evolving as more data is available to them and more people use them, they are becoming black boxes. Even the developers of these systems may not be able to understand what is happening inside them and uh, they cannot predict how these models will behave in unexpected situations. Which means that uh, as AI systems become more powerful and uh, are used more extensively, the risks associated with using AI also becomes more significant. And uh, we have already seen some of these uh, AI related issues or risks coming out. So, whenever an organization uses an AI system in uh, any part of its operations, there can be some elements of uh, financial, operational, strategic or compliance risks. And uh, there is a need to ensure that uh, these AI systems are audited in a structured way. And uh, this is where the AI audit certification comes in. It uh, builds on the audit knowledge and the experience that a CISA or a CIA or a CPA professional will have and uh, prepares them for auditing AI systems. And uh, as per ISACA, this uh, advanced AI audit certification is the first of its kind in the world. Which uh, brings us to the question, is the AI audit exam a technical exam? For example, an uh, AWS, GCP or uh, Kubernetes certification is uh, normally a highly technical exam. Is the AI audit exam also something like that? Well, if you are preparing for or have already completed your CISA exam, you are already familiar with uh, how the AI audit exam is designed. While the candidates will be tested on their knowledge or their awareness of many of the technical aspects of AI systems, this is not a technical exam per se. And this is also evident in the fact that the prerequisites for this certification include internal audit or public accountant certifications, which are not technology specific qualifications. In short, even if you don't have a background in IT or technology, 
but uh, you are working in auditing or risk management or a similar domain you can take up this certification after you have completed one of the prerequisites so what is the format of this uh, ai audit exam well 90 questions 2.5 hours no negative marking and uh, because the exam questions will come from a large question bank there will be some easy questions and uh, there will be some difficult questions and uh, the number of easy or difficult questions will also vary from candidate to candidate so the final marking is not done on a one question one mark kind of a model the raw score will be converted into a scaled score from 200 to 800 and uh, a minimum scaled score of uh, 450 is required to pass as a very rough guesstimate we can assume that uh, if a person manages to get around uh, 60% of the questions right then uh, the person should be clearing this exam but uh, to be on a safer side given that uh, each attempt of this exam can be quite expensive we do advise users of our uh, practice tests that uh, you should uh, repeat the practice tests till you start scoring 80% on a consistent basis at which point you are uh, quite ready for the real exam now the exam can be taken at uh, testing centers or uh, there is also an online remote proctoring mode that is available but uh, unless there is a strong reason not to i would recommend taking the test at the nearest test center and uh, that too on a weekday candidates will be tested across three domains ai governance and risk ai operations and ai auditing tools and techniques now the details of the topics covered under uh, each of these domains is available on the official website and uh, we will also be covering all of these topics in detail in our prep videos coming to the official preparation resources there is uh, an online review course there is a database of 200 questions and uh, there is the ai audit review manual which is available both uh, in online and print versions now each of these resources has to be purchased separately and uh, while they are recommended isaka says that they are not mandatory however i would uh, strongly recommend purchasing at least the review manual because it provides the basic framework or the outline for preparing for this ai audit exam now are the official resources enough to pass the exam is uh, going through the 200 official questions database enough to prepare well such questions are answered by isaka itself in the review manual which explains that the manual is uh, just one source and not the only source for this exam and uh, it is also not a comprehensive document that contains all the information required to pass the exam candidates should uh, read through the manual to get an overview of the various topics but uh, they should also refer to other resources whenever more knowledge is required on any topic currently the exam cost for members is uh, 459 usd and uh, for non members it is 599 usd and uh, even for the official review manual the question bank and the online course there is a discount available for members so it makes sense to register as a member of isaka before you make any purchases you don't need to have uh, any current isaka certifications to become a member you just need to register on their website and uh, pay a membership fee of uh, 145 usd and uh, since the cost difference between the non member and the member pricing is uh, 140 usd the membership fee is uh, almost recovered here itself coming to the ai audit exam preparation strategy looking at uh, what the review manual says about uh, the purpose of the exam and uh, how candidates will be tested this is my understanding Now the questions will mostly be on the topics covered in the review manual but the answers may not always be available in the content of the manual for example the manual has a couple of paragraphs about agentic artificial intelligence so while you may see exam questions on this topic the answers to those questions may not be available in the given content so here external knowledge and uh, general awareness of these topics becomes necessary so for uh, every topic within the manual you should uh, first understand the concepts and the definitions from a theory perspective and then you should know the application and the practice of those concepts in the real world while uh, building our practice tests for the ai audit exam we are following a similar strategy first uh, we are building an extensive database of uh, a couple of thousand questions covering all the topics given in the review manual some of the questions can be answered using uh, the content given in the manual and uh, other questions will have to be answered based on external resources and uh, every topic will have both uh, concept based questions and application based questions so the prep strategy for the ai audit exam is very simple practice more practice and uh, some more practice and uh, to be on the safer side a little more practice that's all for now if you have any questions or feedback you can uh, post a comment below or uh, send us an email i will see you soon in the next video